Hey everyone, I'm Meredith, Community Lead at Oasis Foundation. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. Welcome to Episode 4 of Oasis Insights, a monthly video series where we take the very best questions from the community and answer them. It's been a busy month and we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Question 1. What is the significance of the Oasis and Equifax announcement? We are so excited to announce our partnership with Equifax last month. Together, we will build an identity management and KYC solution for Web3, leveraging a first-of-its-kind use case of MPC technology. This solution will enable and empower protocols to have fast onboarding of users requiring minimal information from them for authentication, and enable them to store sensitive information with high security to protect against breaches. It will also give them the ability to integrate both TradeFi and DeFi products and protocols and have continuous monitoring for AML. It will allow users to submit minimal information required to establish identity and associate proof of KYC on-chain with one or more digital wallets. It will enable users to seamlessly participate in any blockchain protocol and DeFi product with an issued once and used multiple times KYC model and approve selective disclosure of only the needed information to TradeFi products and DeFi protocols. This is another step in the OASIS mission to build the necessary infrastructure that will empower responsible data economy and expand the use cases of Web3 by leveraging privacy and regulatory compliant technologies. Question 2. Will OASIS build a MOVE paradigm? We are currently gauging if the community wants support for MOVE on the OASIS network. MOVE is a Rust-based programming language created by Facebook as a safe and flexible programming language for the DM blockchain. This smart contract language is designed to maximize safety and security, and it's designed such that assets cannot be cloned to ensure that digital resources can only have one owner at a time and only be spent once. Move technology shows a lot of promise regarding blockchain scalability and security and would be a good fit overall for expanding the Oasis network. The versatile nature of the Oasis architecture makes extending support for additional runtimes easy. With Move's potential to offer builders something different, we want to hear from you, our community, if you'd like to see Move support on the Oasis network. Let us know in the comments. Question 3. What are the benefits of using Sapphire's T approach to privacy versus a ZKP approach? A trusted execution environment, or a T, is an area on the main processor of a device that's separated from the system's main operating system. It ensures that data is stored, processed, and protected in a secure environment. A zero-knowledge proof, or ZKP, is a method by which one party, the prover, can prove to another party, the verifier, that a given statement is true, while the prover avoids conveying any additional information apart from the fact a statement is indeed true. They are both very powerful tools for privacy-preserving applications and can be complementary to one another. There are, however, pros and cons to both. With ZKPs, developers have created complicated and unique zero-knowledge circuits for each of the applications they build. This increases de developer friction, as not only do they have to create their application, but they also have to worry about making their application fit within the parameters of a specific ZK circuit, or create a novel one themselves. Additionally, zero-knowledge protocols are not very optimized for smart contract execution, especially for execution involving multi-party computation. When multiple data sources need to be aggregated in a protocol, like for example in a DEX order book, it is extremely computationally expensive and hard to implement. These issues become trivial with a TEE approach, or T approach, such as with Sapphire though. With Sapphire, there is little to no developer friction for creating confidential applications as the network functions exactly like any other EVM network. Sapphire is just as performant as handling data aggregation and multi-party computation as any other EVM network. Lowering the developer and user friction, as well as allowing more complicated and compelling applications to be built on the network, is integral for its success, and right now we believe that T's are much better suited for these purposes.